You know what I'm not proud of? Binge watching. Binge watching great shows and movies ever since I was a little boy. But that habit of binge watching movies never really changed for me. I would sleep watching a movie. When I would eat, I would reward myself with another movie. Most of my life, it was just me watching movies. But on a certain day, back in early middle school, I was laying on my couch with my iPad, as every middle schooler does, right? Relaxing, with no homework, and I came upon this quote from the film Now You See Me Too. This one line out of thousands of lines of shows and movies that changed my point of view. It said, quote, seeing is believing, but is it truth? Depends on your point of view. Look, I had this need to understand this quote, and after a while, it clicked. Everything I've ever watched was based off of my own imagination. I was the one who made all those stories true to me. Again, I was not really a proud binge watcher, but ever since that day, I was never a binge watcher again. I was an active, breathing, listening, and attentive watcher. To begin my journey of being an attentive watcher, let's take a trip down memory lane. This, this is me. You can't really tell who I was in this photo, but let's talk about the shows I used to watch. Firstly, Caillou. Caillou is about a little boy who lives with his family and has a regular life, just like five-year-old me here. But Caillou wasn't just any regular boy. No, no, no. He was a kind one, a kind one who had a strong bond with his family. This made me. Okay, maybe not the show alone, but part of me developed while watching this show. I love my family. We all do, of course. But this show allowed me to express myself more to my family, to show love and compassion. And that love and compassion grew from there. Other aspects of Little Me were my adventurous characteristics, exploring and being curious. And again, all these aspects of Little Me came from me sitting on my couch back in South Carolina. But with two new shows, Little Einsteins and Curious George. These two shows were, if not the most important shows of my childhood. Pretty bold statement, but what if I told you that if I watched Curious George and not The Einsteins or vice versa, I wouldn't be as expressive and adventurous today. This is because the importance of the connection between these two shows is what led me to my love of learning. Little Einsteins was about a, a group of kids, just like me, a kid. They would go on a spaceship and travel around the world, learning about art and music and developing this habit of learning. While this habit of learning was very important, it was missing an essential element that came from Curious George, the curious little monkey. George had such an influence on me because he taught me the importance of being curious for my learning. And this curiosity, curiosity is what led to my love of learning, my love of film, and the reason why I'm speaking to all of you here today. Are the products of the films we watch. All of us. As each one of us watches a show or a movie, we interpret it in different ways. Caillou, yes, he had a strong bond with his family. But there are many other interpretations of Caillou. His curiosity and his confidence, for example. What I realized is that I directed it. I was the one who created all those messages in my own head. And you all do that too. The directors of the shows and the movies are not the directors of the messages. The directors have a plot, but you drive that plot in your head. You choose how the story goes. You choose how you want to interpret that story. You choose that subconsciously. And from now on, watch shows and movies not only as a leisurely activity, but also as an opportunity to direct your newest self. Thank you.